Welcome to our next exercise tutorial. In this lesson, we're going to create a Geneva wheel. Let's begin with a new part document. Let's go to the metric tab this time. Now scroll down and select standard in millimeters. Okay. Sketch one is open and active. Let's begin by creating a few circles. I'll snap the center point to the origin point. The diameter will be 100 millimeters. Press enter to accept. As you see, the 100 millimeter diameter dimension was applied. Let's make the second circle 30 millimeters, also snap to the origin point, and the last circle 20 millimeters. Press enter to accept. Press escape to exit the circle command. Next, I need to create a keyway slot. Let's activate the rectangle tool for that and I'll drop a rectangle about here. Now let's bring in the line tool. I'll awaken the midpoint of this rectangle line and we'll create a line between this midpoint and the origin point. Press escape to exit the tool. Let's select my new line and apply a vertical constraint. Activate the dimension tool. We'll make this line three millimeters in length. Click OK. And let's activate the Trim tool now. And just left click to begin trimming. Let's apply another dimension between this point and this point here. Make it two millimeters. Okay. At this point, we can convert this line to construction geometry. Let's do that. And then we'll press Escape to exit the dimension tool. Next, I'll create a line starting at the origin point. The length of the line is going to be 60 millimeters. Press Enter to accept. And press Escape to exit the line command. Now let's activate the Circle tool. We'll drop our center point here. The diameter is going to be 40 millimeters. Press Enter to accept. And let's bring up the Line tool again. We'll snap our first point to the origin point and the second point will snap to the circle. Let's activate the dimension command. I want an angular dimension this time. It'll be 30 degrees. And press enter to accept. Next, we're going to use the offset tool. Select the line to offset, then the direction of offset. And let's click on either side actually to create a first and second offset. Dimension, three millimeters and three millimeters here also. Next, I'll activate the circle command. I'll snap the center to this line, and my circle will be tangent to the other two lines. Activate the dimension command. Let's place a dimension between these two points. Right click and select an align dimension this time. We'll make it 20 millimeters and press enter to accept. Let's activate the trim command again. Now when I mouse over my geometry, I can see what's going to be cut. And let's press escape to exit the trim tool. We've got a couple more lines to delete. I'll just select them and delete them. Let me zoom out a bit now. Okay, and let's activate the circular pattern command. First, I select the geometry to pattern. Now I'm going to select the center of the pattern. Next, we input the number of instances, let's say six, at 360 degrees, okay. And let's trim now. Just a couple more lines. Press escape to exit the trim command. Okay, there's a few lines here. Let's control select them and convert them to construction geometry. 
As you see in the status bar, six more dimensions are needed before our sketch is fully constrained. Let's use the Auto Dimension tool. I'm going to check both options, Dimensions and Constraints. Let's click Apply. The Auto Dimension is executed. Let's click Done. I forgot to trim this line here, so let's take care of that now. Now Auto Dimension again. Both options checked, Apply and Done. So as you know by now, there's always more than one way to create a model with Inventor. I didn't have to create the slot and the cut as part of one sketch. I could have also simply created a circle, extruded it, and then created the slot and the cut as a second sketch. You may also have noticed that I applied dimensions and constraints all through the sketching process rather than waiting until I was done the sketch to do that. Let's click Finish Sketch. Activate the Extrude command now. First, we select the profile to extrude. Let's extrude in both directions. A 10 millimeter extrusion is good. Under Extents, let's keep Distance selected and click OK. Let's expand Extrusion 1. Right click on Sketch 1 and select Share Sketch. Now let's activate the Extrude command. Select the Profile to extrude. 30 millimeters for the extrusion depth. Symmetric extrusion in both directions. And let's click OK. Let's hide the sketch now. Right click and uncheck visibility. Let me just zoom in a little bit. This concludes our tutorial about creating a Geneva mechanism.